So we're about to roll this beast out and roll the other beast, that is the 2J mower in here. But first, we'll talk about our new giveaway. We're giving away another awesome Rogue Fab Bender with this custom grind hard wrap. So head over to the website, check out the details. Every $5 of merch gets you an entry to win. So go check it out. And uh, we're about to tear this 2J engine apart. We're back at working on the 2J mower and now we have two 2Js because Spencer from Builds Not Projects is here and he brought us another crappy 2J. It's more complete than ours, so between the two, we should be able to cobble together enough parts to make it run. was bringing us a better 2J. Yeah, I thought I was bringing a better 2J as well. <laughs> Turns out Let's it's go. probably worse. A little Your oil's not supposed to be that sparkly. And that looks chunky. That's that, more than a sparkle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's straight up confetti right there and that looks a lot like a crank bearing. Yeah, so now we have um another spare 2J for parts. Which is actually good, because there's a lot of parts on this that we didn't have, like this chunk of intake here. If that engine is also bad, then we'll go from there, but it should at least sort of run. So we'll keep going on that plan. So we're finally back to work on the 2J mower. We've got a lot of exciting uh, parts coming for it and hopefully we'll have it running soon. But first we need an engine that turns over and this one does not. So uh, this engine has a long and, you know, not so great history. And it is very, very seized. And this one has bad bearings. So. Um, we're gonna tear into it and see how bad it is and see if it's worth rebuilding. Um, we'll pull it apart, pull the crank out, see what's good and what's bad. Um, basically, if the crank's good, we can get a new set of bearings and rings and stuff like that and just do a light rebuild on it. We'll tear into this engine and see how bad the damage is. Probably, probably not great. Probably pretty bad, but you know, it was free, just like the other one. That's what happens when you get free 2Js. There's a reason they're free, because <laughs> they're toast. Got the crank out and it looks really, really great, except for these two journals for the uh, connecting rod bearings are a little bit scarred up. This one's not terrible. Um, this one's a bit worse, but still not horrendous. And given that, you know, we're putting it in a tractor, we might just roll with it. Um, but first I'm gonna tear off, pull off the head, pull the pistons out. We ordered up a rebuild kit, um, just, you know, new bearings and rings and gaskets and such. I'll tear the top end off, see how well that looks, and then um, we'll go ahead and pull the crank out of the other engine as well and use whichever one's better. Um, and uh, then uh, rebuild it real quick and get it running. What's the damage like here? Uh, well, the block looks great. I mean, you know, the the cylinders and stuff obviously are a tiny bit worn, as you'd expect for an engine that's run for an indeterminate number of hundreds of thousands of miles. Um, a couple of them have a few little spots of like that one you can see in there. There's a little bit of pitting inside on the edge, but really, really minor. And honestly, the pistons and rings are are probably pretty good too. There's nothing nothing crazy there. They're a little dirty, but honestly, not even that bad.
another 2J stripped down to the block. Uh, so now we have two 2Js all the way disassembled. Um, yeah, so this block is obviously not great, uh, and that's why we're going to use the other one. Uh, the main thing that's bad is this chunk broken out of it, and of course one could fix that, but seeing as how we have another one, it's not worth it. The other thing is, these cylinders are pretty rusted from sitting for so long. That one's probably the worst right here, but all of them are a little bit rusty. Uh, that said, everything else inside the engine was in way better shape than the other one. This one, the bearings were all fine, none of them spun, so the crank is totally mint. Yeah, we've got a ton of spare parts, and we've got enough stuff to assemble one very solid 2J. This block, I think I'm going to make it into a coffee table for our uh, eventual podcasting studio for the second channel. So, you know, go check out GHPC2 to see all the other stuff we do. We'll build coffee tables and go for dirt bike rides and podcasts and just all the random stuff that we do that doesn't fit in the main videos. stronger. I got all the seams welded up all the way around. Everything that's there is now welded 100%. It should be a little more rigid now with all the seams fully welded. on bending up some plates to fill in the edge of the hood and I need to make a nice smooth radius bend so I found this piece of inch and a half tubing which is pretty much exactly the radius we need. Clamped it in the vise here and then just bend it over about like that. And we've got our nice radius. Easy peasy. Bada boom. Yeah, then I just gotta trim a little bit off the edge. A day of sheet metal work later and we've got ourselves a solid hood. As soon as we get all the parts, we can assemble the engine and then start making it run. And speaking of parts, we have this big old exciting box that just came from Australia. Big old box of exciting 2J parts from Golby's Parts in Australia. They've got all the parts for 2Js and all sorts of other cool engines as well. And we got ourselves some shiny bubble wrap. No. Ooh, what does this look like? This looks like uh, this looks like an intake manifold. Well, that's exciting. Well, this right here is a distributor block off plate, and what that means is we're getting rid of our distributor and going to individual coils. So this here is the whole kit from Golby's Parts to um, convert an old style 2JZ uh, with a distributor to a modern style. Um, individual coil setup. So it's got some shiny adjustable cam wheels. Oh, those are gonna look nice. <laughs> Triggers to, uh, to send the signal to the computer for the coils. Distributor block off. Uh, another trigger, it's got the, um, this is the crank pulley, uh, or the crank end um, timing belt pulley with the teeth on it for that trigger to read for the bottom end crank position sensor. This should be a GTE oil pump. So it's an upgraded oil pump and it also allows for 
the fitment of the crank position sensor. So all of that means that this 2J is gonna be a lot more tunable and a lot more reliable and uh, a lot more better. Very high quality stuff. Awesome setup. Now we just have to get the engine back together to put all this on there and make it go vroom vroom. So funny putting these awesome new shiny aftermarket parts on this beast of a tractor. <laughs> so hilarious. Rusty, crusty old tractor. Like, in some cases, intentionally rusty and crusty. And these shiny, beautiful parts for, you know, essentially a race car. Ooh. Very nice. So this right here is a shiny new intake manifold, which is uh, essentially designed to convert um, a non-turbo 2J to turbo. Um, we're not necessarily turboing this yet. We wanna get it running first, but the bottom line is this intake is way simpler and way smaller uh, and way prettier than what was on here. So um, we went ahead and got this now so that we can, so we don't have to deal with all the crazy crap that was on the old one. So that's all we have, well, that's not just all we have time for this week, it's also all we have parts for. <laughs> We're waiting on the rest of the parts to rebuild the engine. Those will be in next week, so we'll have another video coming out on the 2J mower very soon. Um, in the meantime, we're doing another giveaway, and we're giving away another awesome Rogue Fab tubing bender. So check out the details on the website, buy some merch, enter to win a sweet bender, and uh, you know, get on your way to fabricating some cool roll cages and chassis and power wheels things, you know, or whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to fabricate. All the stuff! Fabricate all the things! So, go check that out. This is what you'll be winning, uh, except a brand new shiny one that hasn't been used a thousand times. This is our Rogue Fab Bender. We've been using it since day one. We started bending with this. It's an awesome bender. Does all sorts of cool stuff. It's very easy to work with. All the, the die changes are super simple, quick and easy. Um, just very versatile, very durable tool. This thing can bend up to two inch solid steel if you get the super heavy duty one, which is this one. It can do a full 180 degree bend in just two passes. You just bend it 90 degrees, reset the pin, bend it the other 90 degrees. Um, you can run it with your air compressor, so it's air hydraulic. Um, you could also hand pump it with the, you know, hand pump there, but yeah, really sweet, really sweet tool, really sweet setup. Very, very useful. So it'll come with a die set of your choice, whatever size tubing you use, you can get it with that set of dies. Uh, it'll come with this custom grind hard wrap, which you can also, if you already have a Rogue Fat Bender, you can buy this wrap on their website now and, you know, represent Rogue Fab and us. So it's a pretty sweet, pretty sweet wrap. So yeah, it's a good one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say after that. I've already said so. Yeah, check it. check it out. I've already said that like eight times. <laughs> it's a good one, dude. <laughs> now this. <laughs> now that that's over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so also, uh, if you're looking for more sweet content of cool things being built, definitely go check out Spencer's channel, Builds Not Projects. He's building a sweet drift trike. Uh, with a, a snowmobile engine in it. He's got uh, the Odyssey with a crotch rocket engine in it, building some really cool stuff. And he actually helped build, us build this too, if you may remember. That, that was all the same day. The day that we built this, that was the same day he was here with the engine. So kind of ironic that I'm here working on this again, but. That's how long we've been working on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're tuning this up. We're gonna get it sent by a pro. Should be a good time. <laughs>